Hey everyone, so here's a question from Mixer 7.6, fifth question. This is from fraction chapter of class 6. Question is complete the addition subtraction box. So they have given two boxes here. So uh, along, uh, if we go towards the right side, we have to do the addition, and second is if we go downwards, we have to do subtraction. So first, we're going to solve here addition, and then we're going to go with the subtraction. So we have to add first 2 by 3 and 4 by 3. So if you see this, both the fractions are like fractions since denominators are same. So you're going to add the numerator. So write the denominator same 3, then 2 plus 4 which is 6. So we get 6 upon 3. We can cancel out the numbers, 3 ones are and then 3 twos are. So answer will be 2 by 1 or you can simply write 2. Same way, we're going to go for second one which is 1 by 3 and then 2 by 3. Again, if you see 1 by 3 and 2 by 3 are, uh, they are like fractions. So, we're going to add the numerators. So, 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 is equal to, denominator will remain same 3, 1 plus 2, which is equal to 3 by 3. We can cancel out the numbers, 3 ones are and 3 ones are, this will be equal to 1. So, here we'll get the answer 1. Now, this was addition. Now, we're going to go downwards. That is, we have to subtract. So, 2 by 3 and 1 by 3, we have to subtract them. So, 2 by 3 minus 1 by 3. Again, they are like fractions. So, we are going to subtract the numerators. So, 3 in the denominator, 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So, 1 by 3 is the answer. So, let me write down here 1 by 3. Next, we have 4 by 3 and then 2 by 3, second number. So, again, they are like fractions. So, 4 by 3 minus 2 by 3. Write the denominator same which is 3 and then subtract the numerators 4 minus 2 which is 2 by 3. So here we got 2 by 3. Now we'll go with the second one, second box. So in the second box we have 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 4. Same thing, but if you see here, the numbers are not like, they are unlike fractions. So, the first one is, again, we're going to go with addition. So, 1 by 2 and then 1 by 3. So, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3. So, we'll take LCM of denominators 2 and 3 because they are different. So we have to make them like fraction first. So, LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. Now, first number is 1 by 2. So, with 2, what we should multiply to get 6? So, it is 3. So, multiply 3 in the denominator and numerator, we'll get 3 by 6. Cancel the numbers or you can keep the answer same. So, 1 by 3, next number is 1 by 3, right? So, with 3, what we should multiply to get 6? So, it's 2. So, multiply 2 in the numerator and denominator, we'll get 2 by 6. Now, add them. So, two, 3 by 6 plus 2 by 6. So don't cancel the numbers because we have to make denominator same. So, 3 plus 2 is 5. So, 5 by 6 is the answer. So, first one we got is 5 by 6. Now, same thing we should do for next two numbers that is 1 by 3 and 1 by 4. Again, denominators are not same. We have to make it same by taking LCM of 3 and 4. So, 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4. We will take LCM of 3 and 4. So, LCM of 3 and 4 is 12. Now we'll change the denominator. First we have is 1 by 3. So with 3 what we should multiply to get 12? It's 4. Multiply 4 in the numerator denominator we'll get 4 by 12. Don't cancel here because if you cancel you'll we'll get the same number. Next we have uh, 1 by 4. With 4 what we should multiply to get 12? It's 3. Multiply 3 in the denominator numerator we'll get 3 by 12. Now let's add these two numbers. So, 4 by 12 plus 3 by 12. Denominator will remain same which is 12. Add the numerator 4 plus 3 which is 7. 7 by 12. So, this was about the addition. Now, we'll go over the second that is a fraction of again the same two numbers. So, we'll, already we have taken the LCM. So, the next one is. So, 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3. LCM of 2 and 3 we already taken. It's 6. So, again, we'll change the numbers. You can do the same thing like when we do the addition at the same time, you can do subtraction or you can do it separately. 
So with 2 we have to multiply 3 to get 6. So multiply 3. So we'll get 3 by 6. Next we have 1 by 3. With 3 we should multiply to get 6. It's 2. So multiply 2 in the numerator denominator. We'll get 2 by 6. Subtract these two numbers. So 3 by 6 minus 2 by 6. So 3 minus 2 is 1. So we'll get here 1 by 6. Next, this is the last one, 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4. We'll take LCM of 3 and 4 because they are unlike fractions. So LCM of 3 and 4 is 12 which we have done already for addition. Now we'll change the denominator of 1 by 3 and 1 by 4. So with 3 what we should multiply to get 12 is 4. Multiply 4, we'll get 4 by 12. Next number is 1 by 4. So with 4 what we should multiply to get 12? It's 3. So we'll get 3 by 12. Now I'm going to subtract these numbers. 4 by 12 minus 3 by 12. Now since fractions are like fractions, denominator will remain same. Subtract the numerator. 4 minus 3 is 1. So we'll get 1 by 12. So we have completed the box but yes it's still not yet over. We have a last box to finish here. So let me write down here 1. So it's 1 by 12. Now we can see that in both each question we have a last box left out. Let's start solving this one. Now here what we should do, whatever we do, like if I add the numbers uh, downwards or the sidewards, the answer should come here same. That is if I go downwards, if I see 2 minus 1, it will be 1. Similarly, if I add this uh, like if I go towards the right side, I have to do addition. So let's add 1 by 3, 2 by 3. It's like fraction, so 3 by 3 will get 1. So in both the ways, you can see we're getting 1. So here the answer will be 1. Same thing we should do for the second one also. So if I go towards the right side, I have to subtract. If I go towards the downward, I have to minus. So if I go downwards, I have to subtract. So 5 by 6 minus 7 by 12. Denominators are different, so we'll take LCM of 6 and 12. So LCM of 6 and 12 is 12. So the first number only we have to change. Second number already denominator is 12. So we don't have to change it. So 5 by 6. So with 6 what we should multiply to get 12 is 2. So multiply 2 will get 10 by 12. Now let's subtract them. So in place of 5 by 6 we'll write 10 by 12. Second number will remain same because 12 is there in the denominator. So 10 minus 7 is 3. So we'll get 3 by 12. You can cancel the number 3 ones are and then 3 fours are. Answer is 1 by 4. Now we're going to go over the next two numbers. We have to go to right side, right? So it means we have to do addition here. So if you go towards the right side, like from left to right, it's addition. If you come from top to bottom, it's a fraction. So answer is 1 by 4. Now let's do for 1 by 6 and 1 by 12. It's addition because we're going across the box. So 1 by 6 plus 1 by 12. Again, just now we have taken LCM of 6 and 12, which was 12. So we're going to change the number 1 by 6. So with 6, what we should multiply to get 12 is 2. So multiply 2, we'll get 2 by 12 plus 1 by 12. We'll get 3 by 12. Cancel out the numbers, 3 ones are and then 3 fours are 12. So you can see we got again answer 1 by 4. So if you do horizontally or vertically, according to the signs we have given, we get the same answer, which is 1 by 4. So this was a long answer. I hope it's clear how we have solved. In case you have any questions or doubts, you can drop a comment below. Thank you.